I was gonna say that's not me, is it? No, that was me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I was watching. I don't remember who earlier, but somebody. <laughs> I myself. All right, guys. Hello, hello. Thanks for being here, guys. Uh, today is everything and anything auction. Appreciate you. Um, lots of buy it now items from me. I'll I'll have some auction items, but it's mostly going to be buy it now on my end. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Mike? Hey, Laura. <laughs> hey, we just love the song so much, so we can, you know, keep hearing it. I scared myself too. I was like, oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I know on my end, I have a bunch of stamps. So if anybody's inter interested in stamps, I got a few Beanie Babies, some other stuff, plush, and then I got some railroad um, items and old, old, old railroad uh, pictures of trains and stuff. Oh, that's like kind of cool. 20s and stuff. Yeah. So, and I got some vintage dolls too, if anybody's interested in that. There we go. Let's scroll on why Evie forgot to turn down the stereo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> hey, Alice, you probably went, damn. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, John, hello, hello. Hi. Train stuff is cool. Awesome. And guys, I got a surprise guest for you guys. I, I'm not good at surprises. So Thursday night, Mike is going to be selling with us. He's going to be our guest uh, seller this Thursday at 8 Eastern. We're going to come on a little bit earlier than usual, but uh, he's got all kinds of goodies. So sit, make sure you're here. I'll make all the thumbnails for this week here. Um, if it's not going to be today, probably tomorrow, but it'll be up. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jennifer. Hey. Hi, Candy. Hey, Candy. Thanks for being here, guys. we got 10 people in the house. Um, yeah, I'm just going to grab some stuff and see what happens and roll with it. Um, Ditto. Yeah, so tonight I'm going to get to invoicing. If I don't finish it tonight, I'll do it tomorrow. I think my mom said she wanted to pick Daniel up to uh, bring him to the house to go swimming in, his, in the pool. So if I don't, whatever <laughs> I don't finish tonight, will be done tomorrow. And my USPS boxes should be in tomorrow. I checked the tracking. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get rocking and rolling on this. You got Moon Goddess in the house. Hey, let her rip, Tater Chip. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you got Picky Nikki and Rem. Hey, guys. All right. I'm going to throw myself on the screen. And there we go. All right. Hello, hello. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do a $3 buy it now for choice of. I'll show, how many do I have? I got four, eight. So I'll do, I'll show four at a time is what I'm going to do. And what these are, they're little like working nuts. So nuts about work. And this one is of the flight attendant. They're all brand new in the packaging. I couldn't <laughs> find a date on them. They're super cute though. So nuts about work. You get the flight attendant in there. She's holding her coffee in the pitcher. You also <laughs> get uh, the lawyer. <laughs> Freaking cool, and they're little peanuts. You got uh, the salesperson. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> and then this one, you also got the social worker. Oh. There we go. So, Picky Nikki came in first for three dollars. So, which one or ones would you like, Picky Nikki? Yeah, the flight attendant, <laughs> the salesperson, the social worker, and the lawyer. Right? Oh crap! Okay, you did have them. <laughs> no, he's good. He's in one piece. We're good to go. So let me hold them all up here. Those are so cool. I love it. All, all of them. Place. You got it. Uh, I'll put peanut workers. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And let me throw this over here. Yeah, they're adorable. And then... Let's see. I got four more. Same deal. I got a sales manager. I got the uh, travel agent. <laughs> you got a paralegal. And uh, oh, another sales manager, I guess. I didn't know I had two of those. Another sales manager. So, Picky Nikki, what would you like? I got two sales managers, a paralegal, and a travel agent. And the sales managers are exactly the same. Oh. 
All right, done deal. Let me just change that to an eight and do this. Thank you, thank you. Okay, and my third item for this round, uh, where'd it go? This one. This is a Christmas cottage, brand new in the package. It is from 1995 Vusilla. It is a nativity four by six counted cross stitch. Let's do a uh, $4 start on this. Again, brand new. You get the little house here, all the string, all that fun stuff. 1995, brand new. You get the four by six. There we go. Hey, Red Devil. Red Devil's at four. We're looking for five. Hope I didn't miss anybody. We got Rich in the house. Hey, Rich. Hey, hey. All right, y'all. Any other interest in this Christmas cottage, 1995 Busilla? We got Red Devil at four, looking for five dollars. Christmas cottage. Okay, got it written down. And Alice, would you like to come on in for five dollars on this one? There's. The, come on, focus. All right, there it is. We got Red Devil at a high bit of four. And if there's no other interest, Alice is in at five or looking for six. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a crazy lady auction buyer for Nikki? <laughs> <laughs> Red Devil's in at six. We're looking for seven. Thank you, guys. Alice is out, so sell to Red Devil for $6. All right. We are going once to Red Devil for 6 Looking for that $7 bid. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. All right. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. And I'm going to turn the camera on over to Scooter. All righty. There we go. Hey, guys. Okay. For me, I've got some of y'all's invoices out. I'm going to finish you all up today, no matter what. And those that just paid, all everybody's shipping is out up until Friday. So if you paid since Friday, I'll get that shipping out, if, unless you're one of my people that like for me to wait. So, all right, I got some Coca-Cola uh, beanie, beanie Babies. I don't know. They're not Beanie Babies, but they're like Beanie Babies. So uh, first one up is the Little Wolf with the Coke. And I'm going to do a $5 start on these. Is this for the lot or for all? Mm -hmm. Yep, the lot. And you got the little bear. Got his Coca-Cola pen with the bottle. You got a... What are you? Is this an armadillo? Huh. Does it say? Artie? Artie Niger? Artie the Art of Art. Whatever that is. Anyways, he's got his coat bottle right there. Okay. And then you've got... I threw in a hard rock bear as well from Memphis. So you got three Coca-Cola uh, animals and then you got the hard rock. So there's four of them here total. You got Picky Nikki at five. We're looking for six dollars on this. I'm also thinking to that Aardvark is adorable. <laughs> He's dim Oh, and Tiffany, I have a hard time watching alone whenever they kill kill the porcupine. I'm like, oh. the porcupine <laughs> one was hard to watch. Like the rabbit and the squirrels don't bother me at all. But every time it's a porcupine or like when that lady thought she was going to get that moose, I'm like, oh, no. Right. <laughs> That's when I'm a vegetarian for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a hard rock bear? Yeah, it's a hard rock yep. bear. And then the rest are Coca-Cola, right? Yep. Uh, the rest of them are Coca-Cola brand. And this one is the hard rock brand. Memphis. Got yeah, all is one on the back. So yeah, this one's Coca Cola. It's got the little tag on it. This one's Coca Cola. It's got the tag as well. And Coca Cola with the tag. Anybody want to come on in for $6 on this? We're going to go once to Picky Nikki for five, looking for six. I started watching season one of Alone on Hulu last night, and people are dropping like flies, and they're, it's, I wouldn't go there, no. It's, it's totally different from season seven? Oh, so different. Huh. 
oops, that meant to be going twice or going twice to picky Nikki for five, looking for that six dollar bid. I know I would have dropped out the first day. No, oh, see ya. Last call. <laughs> Fair warning. Sold to picky Nikki. Congratulations. All right, thank you, picky Nikki. Are y'all all back in here real quick? That's all. Just throw me all over there because otherwise I'm gonna drop you. All right. Next up, this is a deluxe stamp kit. Uh, so it's premium reusable quality. I'm gonna start this off at six. Uh, you make your own custom stamps. There's. Uh, it says it comes with a stamp pad, but I don't think I saw a stamp pad in here. But it does have. Um, the two type sizes. So you got the circle and the oval and then the different blocks. And it comes with these little bitty letters that you put on your stamp right there. It's got the little plastic tweezers. And then this little piece right here is the holder. So you can change that holder out with, to fit these pieces here. And then all of those are letters that you can slide on there to make whatever type of stamp you want. Hey, Sugar Plum. Hey, Harley. Hey. You got Picky Nikki in at six, looking for seven dollars on this. So it has everything, but I think the stamp pad. I think the stamp pad would be hard to find, but I do have other stamps I'm gonna be bringing up, or not stamps, but the stamp pads, ink pads. Hi, Jarhead. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you for your stamps. The item is yours. <laughs> <laughs> I have a crap ton of stamps today and ink pads. Any other interest in this? Picking up that six, looking for that seven dollar bid. Hey, little Martin's Nest. Hey, hey. Tiffany and Mom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Elizabeth. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go once to Picky Nikki for six dollars, looking for that seven dollar bid. Hey, second chance. Hey, hey. We are going twice. Still time to come on in if you're interested in some stamps. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Picky Nikki. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And then for my third item, this is so cool. It is a cup. It is Durango and Silverton. Silverton. It's got the train on one side. I'm going to do this for starting at three. And on the back, it says 473, built 1923, American Locomotive Company, weighed 254,500 pounds. And it was copyrighted in 1984. And then it's got the silver tone rim on the top as well. I don't even know what I have for shoes. We're going to be doing a shoe auction this coming week. Um, I bet you I do have some, though, Sugar Plum. 1984. Nice train cup. Try putting your hand... Like, yeah, that sounds good. There you yeah. go. And the 1984 is going to be down here at the bottom, by the way. There you go. It's a nice looking cup. Great to put your rocks and your whiskey. Mm-hmm. And then that's the Durango and Silverton train. That's the word. Highball glass. That's right. <laughs> All right. We got a pass. All right. Not a problem. That was number three. All righty. Here we go. Let's do this. So this one is really pretty. I don't know what it's made out of, though. It's not resin. Maybe ceramic? You get the owls. They're super cute. It seems to be in really, really good condition. I, I did look it over a few times. I didn't notice anything wrong with it. Uh, let's start this off at $5. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but not super heavy. Here's the back. Here's the underneath of it. And this is... Um, let's see. Oops. Wrong way. Oh, my God. We'll get there, I swear. You're looking at about no, seven and a half inches long, and then at its tallest point, it is about four and a half. Yeah, Lori coming in for five. Hey, Lori. They got eyes like you. <laughs> All right. Ooh. 
there they are pink blue and like a orangey bird super pretty and we got five dollars looking for six dollars <laughs> Any other interest in the owls? And if not, sell it to Lori. All right. We are going to win it. Oh, Sugar Plum comes in for six. Thank you. Thank you. Owl. Uh, Who? Knick knack. Who? 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 Lori's at seven, looking for eight. Sugar Plum's coming in uh, with the right hook for eight, looking for nine. They are cute as all heck. Look at that. And again, it, it's kind of heavy. I don't know exactly what it's made out of. It's not plastic. It's kind of cold. So, yeah, I guess I'll stick with that ceramic is what I'm going to stick with. But it doesn't feel like that either, so I don't really know. <laughs> Feels more uh, stronger than ceramic. Sugar plums at eight, looking for nine. What you thinking, Lori? Ooh, ooh. Oh, plaster. Yes, that could very well be it. Thank you, second chance. <laughs> There's the back of it. All right, folks. I'll give Lori a few more seconds here. And we're going to go go ahead and call it to Sugar Plum for $8. All right. We are going once. Going twice. Looking for that $9 bid. Last and final call. Here we are. Sold. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. Sugar plum. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see what else I got for you guys. We'll do this one. So this is a little mini mini's car from the Mickey House, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Disney figure fits inside the car. Uh, 2012. Let's start it off at five dollars. Brand new in the box. Fisher Price. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. There you go. So I wonder if it does anything. Minnie's car. I'm just wondering if it's one of those you pull back and it goes. <laughs> uh, it doesn't say. So there's that. If you got any kids that are Minnie Mouse or Mickey Mouse freaks, there you go. Again, 2012 Mattel. Disney Junior. All right, guys. But if there's no interest in Minnie Mouse, that's totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and put it to the side. And let's see. This one here. <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers who this is. You got Aaron Carter. Wasn't that one of the Backstreet Boys brother or and Sink's brother? I don't remember. So anyway, Aaron Carter figure. It is new in the box, but it looks like the box kind of got like bent, not bent, but this kind of opened up and then it must've been sitting in someone's garage for a bit. Cause he does have some, some dust all over him and all that fun stuff. I'm sure you can start now. Hey, Philly. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul. This is a 2002 Spectra management. Let's do this at a $5 start. Aaron Carter. So you get the Aaron Carter figure. He's probably about 12 inches. Again, he is a little bit dusty on the inside. If you could open this up nicely, you could clean him up real quick and put the plastic back, or if you're going to take him out of there anyway. There we go. Aaron Carter. Hi, KJ. Hey, hey. 2002. Is that what I said? Yeah. And then here's the back. Full name. I'll tell you all about Aaron Carter. You got his full name, when he was born, birthplace, his sign, his eye color, yada, yada, yada. So if you're an Aaron Carter fan, there you go. <laughs> John's coming in at five. We're looking for $6 on him. Awesome. Aaron Carter. 
If you think Aaron Carter is new to the music scene, think again. For three years, this young hottie has been sweeping fans off their feet all over Europe with his gold debut al album, Aaron Carter. His platinum CD, Aaron's Party, come up, come and get it. <laughs> and yada, yada. <laughs> For the owl, you got it. Send to Rhonda. All right, I got my note made. All right, guys, if there's no other interest in Aaron, uh, sell it to John for five bucks. All right, we are going to go once to John for five. <laughs> going twice, looking for that $6 bid. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I got that. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> All right. That was my three going on over to you, Scooter. All righty. I have some more stamps. $6 start. This is new in the package. But it does. the tin does have a little bit of rust on the outside. Um, probably because it had a tear here on the plastic. But brand new. Never been opened. Stamp and ink set. It contains six wood handle stamps, three mini markers, uh, two mini ink pads, and a storage can. Ten. Can't talk. <laughs> you got Picky Nikki in at six, looking for seven. Top stamp says, I'm a princess and proud of it. <laughs> I'm a princess and proud of it. That's right. So again, brand new in package. You got eight Kim. Kim's hey. Looking for eight. Oops. Oh God. And Picky Nikki is out to Kim. And we're gonna go once at Kim for seven. We're going twice looking for that eight dollar bid. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Kim. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Kim. Okay. First up, I'm gonna uh, start this off at three dollars. This is it's got a San Francisco. It's one of their um, what do you call them? Okay. Trolley. There you go. Uh, Powell and Mason Streets, what's on there? And this was done in 1985. And what is that made out of? It's made of metal. And then the wheels, they do turn. And the wheels feel like they're probably some sort of plastic. All right, guys, looking for that $3 start on this 1985. You get the San Francisco trolley. It says Powell and Mason Street there at the top. I think it's the same on this side as well. Yeah. Hey, Turtle Trader. Hey, hey. Kim's coming in at three. Cable car. Hey, Lana. We got $3. Looking for $4 on this. Yeah, that's what it says. 85 cable card. <laughs> I would have just read it. <laughs> hey, Quintia. Hey, Quintia. Like oh, it's twice that it's a cable car. Duh. <laughs> Come on, Scooter. Get with it, girl. Sheesh. Hey, Lazy Bones. Hey, hey. Hey, Lana. All right, guys. We got Kim in at three. We're looking for $4 on this 1985 cable car. Any other interest in this? We're going to go once to Kim for three. We're looking for four. We're going twice. Last call. Air warning, and you're sold to Kim. Congratulations. Right, thank you, Kim. And then $3 start on this one as well. This one says Narrow Gauge Railroad, Durango, Silverton, Colorado. I do not see when this was uh, made. There was probably, some, um, you know, a felt padding over it, but that's not on there anymore. And then here's the back side. Kim's coming in at $3 for this. We're looking for four. And this is made of metal as well. Hey, 
<laughs> Hello from the grocery store. What's up, wheels? <laughs> it's all about priorities. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, right, came in at three. We're looking for four dollars on this. Whoopsies. Okay. We're gonna go once again for three. Oh, thank God. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad they did, Susan. I was kind of scared. <laughs> I, I was really scared, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I hold my breath every time I say something breakable. I think I used almost a whole roll of bubble wrap on <laughs> Just, just in case, I'll, I'm gonna put a little extra. <laughs> then you got people like the Rev who likes to prank you. Oh no! Oh, everything came broken. What? Right? Just hey, what? Joy. What's this broken step in this box, Scooter? <laughs> oh my god! Last call, y'all. And you're sold to Kim. All right, thank you, Kim. And that was my three. All right, here we go. First thing I got here. Three dollars a buy now. Creative Kids. It's a thirty-five piece uh, natural wood blocks. Includes one set. So I, I guess you could glue it together if you wanted to, or you could just continue making different types of uh, buildings and playgrounds, all that fun stuff. Three dollars buy it now. This is what it comes with. That's it. Nothing else in the box. One hundred percent wood. Second chance sold to you. Thank you. Thank you. So Daniel can't have everything. <laughs> <laughs> sure he can. Oh my God. I actually got to go through his toys here this week and then I'll be bringing all that stuff up over here too. Yeah, some I keep telling Emma the same thing. We need to go through your toys. We need to go through your toys. Some of it's got to go. <laughs> right. Well, I want her to sell hers, you know, make some money herself. Right. All right. We're going to do a $5 buy it now for choice. I didn't, I don't need the box. The better for, okay, perfect. That works for me. $5 buy it now for choice. Dorb, the planet of the apes. You got Zira and George Taylor. I've never actually seen it. There you go. You get the stickers on the top. You can just peel. Oh my god! <laughs> Earthquake! <laughs> my heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one. Which one would you like, or would you like both? Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joy. Hello, hello. Jeez. Both, you got it. Thank you, thank you. Man down. Mayday. <laughs> okay. Sheesh. And then the next thing I'm going to do, this is really, really pretty. This one is ceramic. It feels way more breakable than the other owl thing I had. It is a piggy bank. It's in excellent condition. There's the underneath of it here. $5 start on this really cute little owl. And Scooter, you're in, what's your city called again? Maumelle, Arkansas, right on the outskirts of Little Rock, Arkansas. Maumelle. This is about, oh, it's almost eight inches tall and about six inches wide. And it is a piggy bank. It's a really pretty pink color with some like a teal blue. And Patty Teague comes in at five. Hey, Patty Teague. Patty Teague, if you think of it, send me your schedule this week. I've got to get you your box. <laughs> <laughs> we got Patty Teague in at five. We're looking for six dollars on this. It is ceramic. About eight inches by six inches. But if there's no other interest, sell it to Patty. All right, we are going once. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate thank you, it. Al. <laughs> All right. Oh, Mike, you missed it. 
going over to Scooter, girl. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start this off at. Uh, let's do. Let's just start off at five. This is a vintage Indian doll. Very vintage looking, and I believe her head and possibly her. Yeah, her arms. I believe it's all like ceramic made or porcelain. It's got Japan on the bottom there. As you can tell, this little girl is quite old. Okay, Perfecting Pearls, I'll invoice you tonight and <laughs> ship it out tomorrow morning. Second chance comes in at $5 for this. Looking for six. She might just need a little bit of cleanup, if any. But you can just tell it's very old. Red Devil's at six. Looking for seven. Shirts? We can bring up some shirts. Sure. kind of rolling through large and medium that's what i got at the moment until later on this week second chance is out i got packages of awesome good good i'm glad we're gonna go once to red devil for six dollars looking for seven going twice last call fair warning Sold to Red Devil. Congratulations. <laughs> awesome, KJ. And thank you, Red Devil. All right. Then I have two vintage Mexico dolls. They are going to be as a pair. And so we'll start this off at $6. So here she is. She's got red on her hat, Mexico on the top. And I'm not quite sure what she is made of. I don't know if she's plastic or or what. Probably plastic. And then she's got a beautiful dress with the glitter and the lace there. And then she's got her little red shoes on. It does come on the little um, wood square thing. There's the back of her. And then here is him. He's got the hat with the green little mustache there. He's got his little Blanket over his shoulder. They're cute. And this is the six dollar start for the pair, right? Right. All right, guys, looking for that six dollar start for this. He makes me think of Jose. <laughs> kind of does, doesn't he? <laughs> you could have Jose and Tiffany if you like. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Jose from Puerto Rico, but that's okay. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Poncho and Lefty. <laughs> <laughs> Any interest in this for six dollars? <laughs> All right, guys. If there's no interest in these. Should I take them? Um, no, don't sell. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then for my third item, I believe there are seven in this. I'm going to start it off at 10. They are all Beanie Babies. Got the tiger, number one dad. It's got the little shirt on it called My Dad. Imagine that. You got the little kangaroos, little baby kangaroo. This one is Willoughby. You got the lion, and this one is Rory. And then you got the monkey. I found another one of these monkeys. This one is Bongo. I've never seen this Beanie Baby. And he was $6 by sale. Um, let's see. His name is Fairbanks. He's got the little sweater. 
And then your last one here is going to be Prance, little kitty cat. Yep. Pick one, pick two. Pick His legs actually move too. So you got the monkey, that's three. Lion, that's four. Like there's six here. Kangaroo. And then the other line that's number one dad. So there's six for ten. Sorry. Sorry. All right, guys, we got Picky Nicky in at 10. We are looking for $11 on the slot. And again, they all have their cards. John's coming in at 12, looking for 13. I have a two way question, a two tie question for you experts. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know if I call myself an expert. Picky Nicky might be. <laughs> yeah, she might be. Some, some of you might know. John's at 12, looking for 13. What you thinking, Picky Nicky? I get all six of these tie beanie babies. Picky Nicky's at 14, looking for 15. Yeah, I think on Beanie Babies, you're going to see a wide range mm -hmm. on prices. You got people that think they're more valuable than other people think. Or I know there are some, like, true winners out there. So Princess Die could be a, a real expensive one. If you, I don't know what you got to look for, though. There's something special about it, though. <laughs> John's That's I like the Holiday Barbie they made um, one or they made a few that were blonde and it was supposed to be a brown head or something like that. So if you find a blonde head at one, that's always more valuable. Picky Nikki's out. We're going to go once to John for 15, looking for 16. We are going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to John. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, John. And that was my three. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello. All right, guys. This one, it's so freaking cute. Now watch. Five dollar oh. star. It's an IMC toys. It's in really good condition. You get the battery pack. I'm already laughing. I'm surprised you can play that. Oh look, I think you can fill it with water or something, and it just burped again. It does something else. Hold on. It burped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, I love it. It's so funny. Joy's at five. We're looking for six. I'm surprised you could stand the chewing of that one. No, I can because it's just a fake toy and I'm I'm playing with it. <laughs> but it's it spits. It's cute. It needs a little cleanup around its mouth and all it's been <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is making me think of my mom when I took her to lunch earlier today. <laughs> I think it's a llama. It looks like a llama. Oh, Hey, casual. Hey, hey. Oh, we got Laura in at six looking for seven. I am C toys. Um, uh. <laughs> oh, so yeah, you do. You fill it up with water over here because she's got a hole on her top, so it does spit. Spit, yeah. I haven't tried that feature out yet, but it does, it will spit at you. <laughs> it like spits, and that's why she starts laughing. <laughs> oh, probably. Julie's at seven. We're looking for eight. <laughs> and oh. it, it's cute. It's so freaking cute. It's it's, it's very rude. Absolutely. It burps. And <laughs> you can fill it up with water and he'll spit at you. Laura's in at eight. Looking for nine. Got a great burp, though. <laughs> it burps like me. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you got Emma's attention. She's in here now. <laughs> hey, Julie. Joy is out. It is adorable. We're looking for $11 on this. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's awesome. It's just freaking awesome. <laughs> just to watch out. Yeah. When That's when you need to put the water in it, too. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Whoever wins this, let Tiff demo the water spot. <laughs> out. All right. Sell this to Julie for... 10. <laughs> well, what? Spitting? Boy, oh, twice. <laughs> Last and final call. And we are sold. Hey, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. All right. There we go. <laughs> sold to you, Julie. This thing is awesome. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? I picked it up and I was going to put it back down, then I figured out how to work it. I'm like, oh, my God. Okay. Let's do a $5 start on this one. You get the sequins here. The the sequins don't move the other way. They just stay like this. You get a black dragon. It's a pretty big size. Um, and there's no – it just is all new material stuffed by polyester fiber. There's no, like, brand on it. It just says, oh, Fun and Fun Toys Incorporated. There it is. I think we've got Laura coming in for five. Yep, I see Laura at five looking for six. You got the silver wings, silver horns. He's cute. He's not that cuddly stuffed animal, though. He's more of that crinkly type. But he's still a cutie. We got five dollars at Laura. We're looking for six dollars on this. The dragon is you. <laughs> is. I thought of Laura when I picked this one up. Uh, hey guys, is it a puppet? No, not a puppet. There's no hole. Don't put your hand up. Joy's at six, looking for seven. And I'll take a little, all it needs is to be, yeah, yeah, that's it. I'll do that real quick before I ship it to you guys. It won't be perfect, but I'll make it a little bit better. Uh, he does have a string, so you can go ahead and hang him up from your ceiling or whatever. Laura's at seven. My dog would love that. Hey, Zuli. Hey, hey. We, we got, got Laura. Laura in at the end. It's like toothless metal dollars. <laughs> Joy's at 11. Oh, this one I think would be a super messy one, too, because it feels like a bunch of, like, sh uh, shipping peanuts in it. I'd hate to pick up this one. <laughs> Laura's at 12, looking for 13. Can it burn down a neighbor's garden? No, he's a nice one. He's sweet. <laughs> John is out. We got Laura at 12, looking for 13. Dragon. There we go. Joy is out, so sell it to Laura for 12 bucks. All right. We are going once to Laura for 12. Looking for 13, going twice. <laughs> Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, let's do. This way. I got an Incredibles 2 Elastigirl, number 364. Let's do a $10 buy it now on it. And the box, it's not perfect, but it's in really good condition. I know if you're a collector, you'd look for something completely mint. That's still really good, but for a collector, that might not be perfect. Uh, down here, too. There we go. $10, buy it now, sold to John. Thank you. All right. And that was... Scooter, where'd you go? <laughs> Spike and the boys will love him. Sold. Okay. And then... Oh, she's back. All right, girl. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Here we go. I ordered a chair mat to go under my chair so I can scoot forward easier. 
and it just got here. So, oh, all right. So I got a lot of these are exclusive ink stamp pad set. They are brand new in a box. Six dollars start on this, and it's close to my heart is the brand. And it just says stamp pad set harvest. So I don't know what colors are in them. So there you go. And you're getting set a set of six of them. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Set of six stamp pads. Looking for that six dollar star pigment ink or not pigment. So is it colored ink or? Yeah, I, I believe it is color ink um, because I have a ton of stamps I haven't even got to show you guys yet. And there, there's all kinds of ink pads and dropper inks and stuff. Does it tell you what color or would it be a variety in there? It doesn't tell me, and I hate to open it. It just says stamp pad set harvest is on the bottom. I wonder if it's like a like an orangey color. Yeah, I don't know. So you'll be surprised. <laughs> there we go. Looking for that six dollar start on this. If there's any interest. All right, folks. If there's no interest, we'll pass her. All right, not a problem. All right, and then I do have a $5 start winner gets choice. These are brand new ink pads. They're still brand new in the box. Uh, this one looks like um, some flowers, maybe corn. Looks like it's got a stalk, some leaves. So here's the first one. Close to my heart, and again, all brand new. Never been used, never been opened. There's number one. Number two is the hearts and keys. And that one says a more. And then the third one is Christmas. It says Christmas makes memories. So $5 start. Winner gets choice. And Scooter, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay. So you got the Christmas one. You got the hearts with the keys. And lock it. And then you got the floral one. Again, they are all brand new. Uh, this one has eight in it. And this one looks like nine. And then this one, they're a little bit bigger. It looks like there's four in it. We got Christina coming in at five, looking for six. <laughs> so I don't know if this is like one of those um, what do you call them? subscription things where you get so many stamps each month or whatever we got Kim Beasy at 6, Christina's at 7 looking for 8 <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. We got Kim at eight looking for nine. Christina's at nine. We're looking for 10. Forty people here. Thank you guys so much for coming and joining us today. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. We have Christina at nine, looking for ten dollars on this. Kim's in at ten, looking for eleven. Christina's back at eleven, looking for that twelve dollar bid. Kim coming in for twelve. We got 13 with Christina looking for 14. 
Kim's coming in for 14. Picky Nicky's at 18. Kim is out. Christina, would you like to come on in for 19 or are you out? We got Kim at a high bit of, uh, Picky Nicky at a high bit of 18. Christina's at 19. We're looking for 20. 22 with Picky Nikki. And this is for the lot, Mike. For all of them. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and do all. <laughs> I didn't know the bid would go up this high, so we'll do it for all. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was, a, it was a $5 start. Winner gets choice, but we'll do them for all. Most certainly. I can imagine uh, charging you 25 for each of these. So. <laughs> Christina's at 25. Picky Nikki's at 27. And this is for all of them, guys. Yep. So, again, this one you're getting eight. This one I think you're getting nine. And this one you're getting four. Christina's at 30. Looking for 32 or 33. Picky Nikki's at 32. I did write winner gets choice. My bad. No, you're so, fine. No. I got Christina. If we had swapped at a lower number, then yeah, it would have been choice. But <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Mike might be bringing some stamps on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Another Ali fight. That's right. <laughs> now that was fun on that shirt last night. Picking Nikki is out. We're going to go once to Christina for $35. Looking for $36. She said, I thought it was for all. Well, it is now. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely for all of them. So if you want to come in, come in. <laughs> going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Christina. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Christina. <laughs> okay. And then for my third item, I'm just going to see how these go. I don't know. I've never done these before, but I thought they were so interesting when I bought them. Um, I'm sorry. I think they got mixed up what I was doing. Okay. there's. I'm going to start out with seven. So you get all seven of them. Uh, well, let's start it at eight dollars, and these are old, and I mean old pictures of railroads and trains. So there's that one. It doesn't have a name on it that I can see of where that one's from. This one, I believe, is uh, back when they built the train station here in Little Rock, for sure. There's that one. You get this one. And there's like eight by 10 and it's got something on the back, but that is just, I don't know what that means. Missouri Pacific lines. This is where they're loading the caboose. And then you get this one. And some of these, I have some bigger ones and they actually do tell me the dates on the back of them. And last one. And I have a whole bunch of these. So if y'all like these, I'll keep showing them today. Yeah, Mike, and at 10, we're looking for $11 on this. Those need to be framed and displayed. Yeah, those are nice. Mm hmm. Julie's at 11, looking for 12. Yep, money. That's right. Turtle trade is in twelve, looking for thirteen. I was asking my dad at lunch when he when our train station was built. He said he thought in the nineteen seventies. So 
Yeah, and they're all definitely on photo paper because they're all they all have that Kodak marking on the back of them. And it looks like maybe they were picking out like exactly what you know what second it was in the timesheet or something. I, I'm I try to make heads and tails out of what it says, or maybe something about how fat I don't know. Because any stuff like that, I don't know what it means. <laughs> Julie's at 13. We're looking for 14. Rich said scooter. Just see if I'm right. Lot and price doubles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a ton of these horizon. I have a ton of these and then I have some bigger ones. Um, that I don't know if they're like 11 by 13 or what. These are all definitely 18. I mean, 8 by 10. A turtle trader at 14. Julie's at 15. Looking for 16. And I was just going through these real fast and picked out seven of them. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah, those are cool. I feel like that'll look really good in like a breakfast diner. I don't know why I think breakfast diner. Yeah. <laughs> Turtle Traders at 16. Julie is out. These are so cool. Scoot, scoot. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, girl? <laughs> uh, Julie, Turtle Trader. Anybody else is on this? I forget. Let me go back up real quick. Horizon's at 18, looking for 19. <laughs> and like the next round, I can show them all and sell them for one price. As far as these go, the eight by ten, or I can just stay, you know keep breaking them out in lots. Up to you guys. All right, Turtle Trader Mike Petzer, did you want to come on in for nineteen? Or are you guys out? I got Horizon at a high bit of eighteen. Turtle Trader coming in at twenty. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm looking for twenty one or twenty two. Mike is out. All right, Horizon. What you thinking? Horizon's at 21, looking for 22. You're good, Mike. No worries. <laughs> I didn't think my knee was supposed to make that noise, but it did. <laughs> All right, Turtle Trader. Did you want to come on in for $22 on this, or are you out? Horizon's at 21 I love it. Scoot, scoot. <laughs> <laughs> I still just have half my nails painted. <laughs> I was going to say that, actually. <laughs> Lots of these would be good, so maybe you want breaking them up like this. Okay. We're going to go once a horizon for 21 looking for that $22 bid. Going twice. Last call. Air warning. Sold to Horizon. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Horizon. And that was my three. They definitely want to see more. All right. All right. I'll bring them out. There we go. First thing I'm going to do, this is new and sealed. You still get the plastic over it. Disney Princess Checkers and Tic-Tac-Toe game set. Um, it is from 2004. Uh, it says it over here. It's really small. No, that's not. That's a choking hazard. Down here, 2004. <laughs> yeah, it comes with one game board, 12 pink checkers and tic-tac-toe movers, 12 purple checkers, Eight snap-on tiaras and the rules. Eight dollars start. It comes with everything you need. Two thousand and four Disney Princess checkers and tic tac toe. So flip the game board over. You get your tic tac toe. Flip it the other way. You get the checkers. And it says include sparkly tiaras for checkers. Crowning is what it says. 
in, pro, in the quotations for ages five and up. Checkers and tic tac toe. There we go. Flip like that. You can see all four sides. Any interest in this? And if not, that's all right. I'll put it to the side and let's get you guys something else. We're going to do this guy. He's the cutie. Uh, Sesame Street 2019. A little uh, plush. You got Elmo. He's brushing his teeth. Okay, everybody. It's time to brush your teeth. $5 start. Get your toothbrush. Okay, everybody. <laughs> That's right, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> He's in really, really good condition. Five dollars start on this. Oh, that's the one Daniel had the other night. <laughs> yeah, this, this is it. He doesn't even really know who Elmo is, and he has like thirty-five plush of his own. So I'm like, yeah, I'll sell it. <laughs> his eyeballs are hard plastic. Oh. <laughs> He's just cute. Five dollar start for this cute little guy. He's in really, really good condition. He works just totally fine. He's got his plastic toothbrush. It does say Sesame Street down here. Oh my god! Right? <laughs> exactly. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> hello, hello. All right, guys. He's wearing his little pajamas. <laughs> and if there's no interest in little Elmo, okay, everybody. Brush on top no, I don't. I did earlier. Thank you, though. I'll put it to the side. <laughs> okay. And this here, we're gonna do. And my eyeballs are part plus. <laughs> did I say you could continue? Horizon in at five. Oops. Looking for six. I'm going to turn them off somehow, some way. Okay, Looking for six. Okay, I guess not. The old boss approved back in, but you're going to visit my eBay store. Oh, yeah, that's right. Go ahead, check out Mike's eBay store. He'll take 20% off anything he has listed. Go ahead, sell this to Horizon for five bucks. All right. That would go nice with Horizon's collection there. Go what? Put it in your bathroom, Horizon. You can have a little toothbrushing, buddy. <laughs> I just see him standing there in the bathroom brushing her teeth together. <laughs> go <laughs> twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. All right, thank you so much. And hey, Robin, hello, hello. Hey, hey. Okay, this one here. <laughs> Let's do an $8 buy it now. Winner gets their choice. You get the Walking Dead McFarland Toys Series 9. I never, is McCone? I don't know if I'm saying her name right, McCone. And there's a back. The condition on it, super good. And. I was trying to find a date on it, but 2016. And then you have AMC Walking Dead, Abraham Ford, and then you also have Travis. Travis's box is a little bit beat up compared to Abraham's. And Horizon's in at eight. All right. Which one do you want, Horizon? Oh, God. Sheesh. McCone? <laughs> Abraham or Travis? Walking Dead. Abraham Ford, Travis, or McCone. <laughs> oh, I should have done it as an auction. No, it was a buy it now for choice of. <laughs> McCone and Abraham. All right, I got you. And then, John, did you want Travis for $8? Let me 
All right, and then so John, if you want Travis, let me know. I'll put his name on it for you. I'll put your name on it for you. Hello. <laughs> And I'll keep an eye out in the chat, John. And that was my three. So we're going to go on over to Scooter. All righty. I've got a Call of Duty World War II uh, 2017. It's a 2XL. We're going to start this at five. It does have a couple little pinholes of things where they put the tag in right there. But Call of Duty World War II, $5 start. Got you, John. Thank you. Picky Nicky in at five or looking for six. Rich is in at seven, looking for eight. All right, guys, looking for that $8 bid on this size 2XL Call of Duty. What you thinking, Picky Nicky? John comes in at 8. We're looking for 9. Picky Nicky is out. I think Rich is out, so we'll call it to John for eight. All right. We're going to go once to John for eight dollars, looking for nine. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to John for eight dollars. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, John. And then my second item here, this will be. Stamps, we'll do a $5 winner gets choice, or if the bid goes up like they did earlier, we'll do it for the whole thing. So first set, you get like a baby shoe. I think that's like, let's see if that has a name on it. it has stuff to do with the baby. It's got the little ribbon, the shoe, the block, the duck, and the ball, and something else, but I cannot see it. Oh, a rattler. Again, new in box, never been opened. There's one. Here's the second one. Looks like some floral print. These actually have 2003 on them. Again, brand new. Number three. Uh, looks like there are flowers on the sun, maybe. Just different ones. You got Picky Nikki at five. I just kind of gotten. Knocked around. Then you got the numbers one. These are from 2002. Kim's at six, looking for seven. And then your last one here. These are 2003. Looks like you got some dots, maybe puzzle pieces. I don't know on that one. Some sort of squirrely lines. And then this one's just a blank one. And this is a winner gets choice. We got Kim at six. Picky Nikki's at 10, looking for 11. Unless the bids go way up, then we'll make it for the whole lot. So. So how many are there total? Uh, let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five boxes of them. This one, you're going to get six of them. This one, you're getting five. This one you're getting four. This one you're getting 12. And the last one here you're getting seven. This is for the, this is for choice. Oh crap. Oh, I a lot okay then 12. Looking for 13. And now that we've hit 12, we'll just do it for the whole lot. All right. 
Now, now we're at the whole lot, you guys. So we got twelve dollars with Kim looking for thirteen. <laughs> there you go, Picky Nikki. You're getting all of these. Yep. I just didn't know how y'all would, you know, like these stamps. So just figure we start somewhere. We got twelve dollars with Kim looking for thirteen. What you thinking, Picky Nikki? You want to come on in for a higher bid? Picky Nikki's at 20. We're looking for 21 or 22. And get all them bad boys. All right, Kim, what's your thoughts? You want to come on in for a higher bid or are you out? Very true, Kim. Kim is out. So we're going to go once Mickey Nikki for $20. Looking for that $21 bid. Try not to drop them. We're going twice. Hey, Carly Q. Hey, hey. Last call. Fair warning. Hold Picky. All right. Thank you, Picky Nikki. Like cigarette prices. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, I've got some more of these pictures for you. They are 11 by 14. I just measured maybe a little over 14. <clears throat> so these are going to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to start these off at 10, and there are five in this first lot. So you have this one. And again, it's all on photo paper, the Kodak. And um, this one says it's from 1925 in Kirkwood, Missouri. So there's that one, number one. Here's number two. This one says Kansas City, Missouri from 1930. Number three. Longview, Texas, 1928. AJ 10, Mike 12, Julie 15. This one is Sparta. I don't know where Sparta is. So if y'all know, 1905 is what it says on here. I have family from Kirkwood. Mike's at 16. And then number five is this one here. Uh, Texarkana, Arkansas, maybe from 1949. So these are all five. Julie's at 18, looking for 19. Eleven by fourteen is that what you said? Uh huh. Yeah. Eleven by fourteen inches. Mike is just a little over fourteen. So Mike is out. We got Turtle Trader coming in at twenty. Twenty dollars again for twenty one or twenty two. You get five of these that are like eleven by fourteen ish. Julie is out. Mike is out. And then FYI, on each of these, they all have the Roddy down here at the bottom. And then they have the stamp there on the back. And KJ, did, are you out? I just want to make sure I ask before I go ahead and start calling it. We got Turtle Trader at 20. We're looking for 21 or 22. Ooh, lottery ticket. Ooh, there you go. Last lottery ticket for tonight's live stream. Lottery ticket on a live stream? Who does that? that yeah, that's why I didn't know. That's kind of cool. I want to go. <laughs> KJ is out. We're going to go once to Turtle Trader for 20. We are going twice. Last call. Fair warning. 
sold the turtle trader. All right. Thank you, turtle trader. And that was my three. Okay. Here we go. We're going to do an $8 buy it now for choice of. And they're brand new little backpacks. This one is high trails equipment. It's black and red. You get all the, the little pockets on the front here. Um, the straps are adjustable. And then the second one here. You got the spaceships and the planet and all that stuff. Um, it says explore. And it also comes with like a pencil case and a lunch bag. There you go. So this one's yellow and blue and like the greenish color. And then this one's the black and red. $8 buy in now for choice. And they're both brand new. Great for overnights with the kids. This one's full of fluff. Fluffy fluff. fluff. I just got a front pocket over here. You get the pulley. Hey, Monster Zero. Hey, hey. Oh, no. That's not good, Rich. Dang. Oh, wow. Big Money Papa's here. G Money Papa. <laughs> there he is. There we go. <laughs> Any interest in these bags for $8? Uh, buy it now each. And if not, that is all right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, oh, okay. put them right here. Put them there for now. And then Laura's at eight. Laura, which one did you want? The rocket ship or the black and red? We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. <laughs> Wow, dang. Rocket ship. Good grief. That is scary. Well, I'm glad they revived them. Okay. I got a Lego Creator, three in one. Number 31102. It is brand new in the package. Um, let's do a $10 start. Lego Creator, brand new. You get the dragon and the treasure chest. You can make a scorpion and a saber tooth as well. So you can make all those guys. Wheels came in first for 10, looking for 11. So yeah, you can make the dragon, the saber tooth, or the scorpion. Uh, 234 pieces in this. It's for ages 7 plus. We got Wills at 10. Picky Nikki, do you want to come in for 11? Brand new in the box, guys. There we go. It'll be a long time before Daniel uses this, so. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, he'll be there before you know it. That's true. Picky said, get it, Wheels. So sell it to Wheels for 10 bucks. All right. We're going to go once to Wheels for 10 Looking for 11 Going twice. Hey, Christy. John's at 11. Oh, yeah, we are. John's at 11. We're looking for 12 Thank you, guys. Oh, hi, Christy. Hello, hello. Exactly, Jarhead. You just never know. Michael's at 12. We're looking for 13 on this. And you'll be cussing when you step on them. <laughs> well, right now, he's got the alphabet blocks that have, like, the numbers and has a duck on it with the letter D and all that crap. And they're about yay big. I stepped on one the other day. Oh, my God. I, I was cussing. <laughs> I started kicking them around the house. I was so mad. <laughs> hey, you sold Elmo, didn't you? Yes, I sold it to Horizon. Okay, got it. Uh, we got John at 15, looking for 16. Lego Creator, 3-in-1. You can make the dragon, the saber tooth, or the scorpion. My husband has so many sports cards. He inherited it from his uncle like years ago. I don't know what to do with them. 
I've been, I've been moving them everywhere we go, and quite frankly, I'm sick of them. <laughs> He's like, sell them. I'm like, Are you kidding me? I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's kind of like Robert just has tons of football and baseball cards, and I'm like, I have no clue where to even start to sell some of that because he has no interest in keeping them. And there's a bunch of rookie ones in there, I know, but I'm like, yeah, I just don't have the time to do the research. Mm -hmm. And Wheels, did you want to come on into 16 or 17? Y'all ever seen a pocket hanger? A pocket hanger? Sell it to John for 15, a pocket hanger. No, but we'll see it Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> you can go on once. Ah, uh, he says swing by Thursday. I'm selling one. There we go. Go on, we guys. Go. <laughs> Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you. Thank you. Do it, ladies. They sell well. Maybe I should ask him if he would mind if I brought out a couple lots just to get a feel, see what you guys say about them. Right. I just might do that. We're going to do a $13 start. Lego Classic for ages 5 plus, two light bricks, um, and it's got 441 pieces. It's number 11009. Silly stuff. <laughs> so I guess it's got two blocks that have the lights in there so you can make like the the shadow creatures. <laughs> and I'm assuming it has these dudes in here, or do you build them? I have no idea. Ideas are included. Brand new. Excuse me. No. Mickey Nicky's at 13, looking for 14. Heartburn just hit me. It's a fun time. <laughs> a million cards. <laughs> yeah, he's got, I don't know how many he has, but he has a few thousand for sure. For sports cards, go to Mr. Buys a Lot YouTube channel. If you have a bunch to sell, just he thought, guys, his name is Brian. Yes, I watch him once in a while. He's got a, he sells lots, like big old lots of stuff. Yeah. He's good. Okay. John coming in at 20 on this. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Robert's got full sets of, you know, a certain year or whatever, because he, when he was a teenager, he worked at a sports card uh, type of place. And so it was his job to card them and everything. And so that's how he acquired most of his. And I can't tell you how many binders full that he has of these. Oops, I should probably show you guys, huh? We got John at 20. We're looking for 21 or 22. Any other interest in this? What you thinking, Picky? I guess those are all the pieces that you get with it. Yeah, it tells you how many you get of each piece in here, too. Like two of those ones and yada, yada, yada. And it's got two light bricks, like two that light up. Yeah, so you can make like the little shadow people. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> Sell it to John for 20 bucks. All right. We're going to go once to John. Well, Wills, I might have to hit you up on the stuff. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Oh, I really got to fix this situation with my chair. <laughs> I remember that, Rich. <laughs> yes, you know, the bike spokes. <laughs> yes. Like a do -do 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 -do. Uh huh. Going over to you. All right. So this one, I'm going to start at five as well. This is a size 2X and Xbox. And this one is marked 2020 from Ripple Junction. So Xbox 2X, Ripple Junction. There you go. There she blows. I don't know why I said that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wheels. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right. I remember the gum. Boy, that was the hardest piece of gum. But boy, as a kid, you were so excited. Of course, I never collected baseball cards. I always did the like the garbage pail kids. You remember those? 
Yes, those are those are expensive now. <laughs> Do you see what Rev said? Scooter car to track brooches, I'll buy them all for a hundo. <laughs> <laughs> You got Laura at five. We're looking for six dollars on this. John's coming in for seven, looking for eight. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Man, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I had back when I lived in New Hampshire and I tossed most of it when I moved. I wish I would have kept it. Oh, yeah. Like, if we knew back when we were kids what this stuff would be valued at now. Mm -hmm. I'd be freaking rich. <laughs> like, this is crazy. Yes. Of course, then nobody would have gotten rid of anything. So. Right. Of that eight, we're looking for nine. Mm hmm They sure are. I just remember looking at my mom. was like, why do you collect these? <laughs> I'm like, they're funny. <laughs> Laura's out. Um, well, they ain't gonna rule that rule in my house. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> and Rev, I'm having a brain cramp. John is in at nine. Hello. <laughs> I was having a moment. I grew up in, I was born and raised in Berlin, New Hampshire. <laughs> I was still not talking to my dad about you, too. And I was saying, yeah, she was from, or, you know, originally from New Hampshire. He's like, Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> Hampshire. I'm like, Shire, sure, whatever. <laughs> it's funny. When I, when I first moved here, you know, folks around here that, in Montana, they would ask me, where are you from? I said, well, I'm from New Hampshire. What state is that? <laughs> New, New Hampshire. <laughs> we got Sean at nine. We're looking for ten. What do you think? And Rev, do you want to come on in for ten? I was laughing. I'm like, yeah, it's yeah. way north, northeast. <laughs> a friend of mine had a friend of hers from New York or knew these people. And they're like, oh, where are you from? And she's like, Arkansas. And they're like, Arkansas? No, Saul. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there was no roaches in New Hampshire. <laughs> All right, guys, we got John at nine. Looking for 10. That's right. Live free or die. Yep. I'm in Montana now. I'm in Billings, Billings, Montana. Oh, wow. That's insane, Rev. Damn. All right, y'all. I'm going to go one to John for nine. Looking for 10. Rev's at 10. Looking for 11. Damn. I got a bunch of non sports cards coming in like a crap ton. I'll bring you ever, those once again. Huh? You ever get that big old lot that you bought? No, I called the guy about it yesterday. He's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm moving. I'm stuck in a corner. I'm like, okay, well, as long as you got them. <laughs> <laughs> Last call. Fair warning. I do, I do my billing out of billings. I sure do. <laughs> so for us. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, Berlin, New Hampshire is way up north of uh, northern part of the state. It was by Milan, New Hampshire, and Errol. I was like only like an hour and a half to the Canada border. <laughs> <laughs> so did you ever go to Canada? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I went a bunch while I was a kid. My, my mom and dad's families are from Canada. All right, guys, I have more stamps in a box. Um, I'm going to start this off at 10. We're going to do it for the whole lot and just see where it goes. This one has got roses, floral print. Again, brand new, never been used. That's number one. Number two, it's got dresses and perfume. And it says, I like your style. Le cheap, cheap, whatever you say. That's number two. And number three. Friends come in all shapes and sizes, need no alterations, and never go out of style. The key to my heart, and then a happy birthday one. And then the last one is fall. It's got a scarecrow, basket, leaves, a rake. <clears throat> and so this one you're getting one, two, seven. You're getting seven in this one. Six in this one.
Christina at 10, Picky Nikki at 15, looking for 16. I did actually. It was my grandfather's funeral. Anyway, I was 18. <laughs> And uh, I went there and went out with all the family. And I, I got drunk when I was 18 in Canada. It was sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Christina's at 17. Picky Nikki's at 20. Looking for 21. You're getting seven in this one. And in this one, you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I remember when I went to Arkansas Tech up in Russellville. We would drive two hours over the Oklahoma Arkansas border just so we could go drink because you only had to be 18 there to drink. <laughs> and I went with people I didn't even know. And I'm like, looking back on that stuff, I'm going, what was I even thinking? You know? Yeah, Christina at 22, Picky Nikki at 24, looking for 25. Uh, Christina at 26. <laughs> Hung over at Pop Ball Service, eh? <laughs> I <was. laughs> uh. <laughs> Picky Nikki is out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I was young and I really wanted to drink. <laughs> you think you're missing out on something, then you start doing it. It's like, hmm. Wasn't missing out much. <laughs> nope. Going once for to Christina for 26, looking for 27. I mean, I drank a lot anyway, but it was legal. I could drink out of the house, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I going twice. I felt so cool, too. I'm like, I'm a, I, I ordered a Labatt Blue, too. That might get me a Labatt Blue. I had a few of those. And we're sold to Christina for 26. All right. Thank you. What's that blue? The that blue, which is a oh. beer, the, the, the bottled beer that they sell in Canada. I got you. <laughs> All right. $10 start on this lot. Here's the first one here. Got 1923. Here's the second one here. Are these like 11 by 14? Yeah, they're the big ones again. 1925. I'll do the smaller ones in the next round. This one, 1924. So that first one, this one's from Alexandria, Pennsylvania. This one is from St. Louis, Missouri. And then this one is Alexandria, um, Louisiana. Then you got this one. From 1940, I believe, from Van Buren, Arkansas. And then my favorite, this one. Does not have any writing on it. You've got Mike in at 10, looking for 11 on this. You get how many are there total? I'm sorry. Uh, five in this one. A lot of five. Gas and food, food and gas. <laughs> Be like the llama. <laughs> <laughs> Any other interest in this? You get a lot of five. Mike's at 10, looking for 11. These are a little bit bigger. They're 11 by 14. And these are on like a thicker uh, car stock paper. And then this one is actually on the Kodak. Thinner paper. I love this one. Turtle Traders at 12. Christina's at 14. We're looking for 15. Mike's at 15. Looking for 16. Come on, Daddy. Chocolate milk. <laughs> I mean to eat and get gas. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ben, not bean. I don't know. I was thinking bean, burrito beans. It's all right. I always think of choke and puke. <laughs> Turtle Traders at 16, looking for 17. Of course, that's from, you know, um, Smokey. Or not Smokey. Yeah. Oh, good Lord. Christina is out. 
I got Turtle Trader at 16, looking for 17. Mike, did you want to come on for 17? Ale's trying mashed potatoes tonight. Who doesn't like mashed potatoes? She'll love it. Mm hmm. All right, guys. I'm going to go once a Turtle Trader for 16, looking for that $17 bid. Mike is out. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold the turtle trader. <laughs> About time you feed that girl. <laughs> Thank you, turtle trader. And that was my three. Okay. Here we go. All right. I got a lot of graphic shirts. I'm going to start it off at um, 20 bucks. They're all size small. You get Monster Jam. It is gray. Grave Digger, 1982. It says, seems to be in good condition. <laughs> there we go. So you get the Grave Digger. You get the Avengers. Captain America. Again, these are all size small. You get seven in the slot. And you get that, that white and blue like uh, tie-dye look to it. Superman. Superman. Playing on the back. Oh. Uh, Disney. You get the American flag Mickey Mouse there. Again, plain on the back. You get this one. Fast food. You get the hamburger and the french fry <laughs> on wheels. Super cute. You get the GM. GM Chevrolet Racing. And then the last one in the slot is Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. And you get the original squad. Hey, Arnold. $20 to start. You get all seven of these. And Aaron's at 20 Thank you. Thank you. Looking for 21 or 22 And they're all in great condition. Yeah, Daniel didn't eat the baby food for very long. There we go. We got Aaron at 20, looking for 21 or 22 on this. All size, small. Captain America. And then the Grave Digger one. This one's really cool looking. I like that. Yeah, that's what I did with Emma. I was like, we're not going to mess with baby food. <laughs> They say that if you do that with a child, if you don't do the baby food, then their taste palate expands and they won't be such a picky eater when they get older. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Daniel eats everything. <laughs> yeah, like I did a lot of research on it to see if that was true. So. All right, guys. If there's no other interest in this, sell it to Aaron for 20. All right, we're going once, Aaron for 20. Going twice, looking for that $21 bid. Oh, this whole Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, I'll put you there. Okay. I was not prepared. That's okay. That's fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> We're going to do this one here. We're going to do a $7 start. Ant-Man and Wasp. Funko Pop, Janet Van Dyne. Let me see if I can show it to you a little bit better. There we go. The box is not mint, but it's not completely jacked up either. This one's got some, like, scuffing on the plastic. Number 344, Ant-Man and Wasp. My favorite thing is that Elle loves avocado. So she will be my probably my um, guacamole girl. Yep, Daniel loves guacamole and beans and stuff. All right, guys, any interest in this one? Looking for a seven dollars start, Ant Man, Marvel Ant Man and Wasp, number three forty four. There we go. And if not, that is all right. I'll put it to the side. The next one I got here, we're gonna do a ten dollars start, Fantastic Four. Super Scroll number 566. 
And this box is in pretty good condition. He seems like he's a little bit heavier than the last box I was just holding, which is kind of strange. Hey, Dean. And this one's a $10 start. And Dean, you wanted the um, Batman and Wasp for seven. Confirm that. And oops, she's not by her desk. And this one is a $10 start for... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right, you got it, Dean. The Ant Man and Wasp is sold to you. Thank you, thank you. And Dean's in for ten dollars on this one. We're looking for eleven. Let me see. I'm bringing it closer to you. Here he is. Super scroll. Show you all the sides here. Any other interest in this? And if not. We'll go once to Dean for $10, looking for 11 And eh, you know what I mean. Going twice. <laughs> Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Dean. Thank you, thank you. And that was my three, so I'm going to hand it over to Scooter. There we go. All right. Bam. One second. No count. <laughs> All right. So first up, I have another vintage doll here. I don't know where she is from. I was looking for a date or anything, but she is very vintage looking. We'll do a five dollar start on her. She's pretty. Different. Any I don't know if she's got a couple of dresses on her or what. <laughs> Does she have any writing on her at all? Oh, I'm sorry. She's got... The only thing I see is on her shoe down here at the bottom. There's some sort of mark there. No, I can't make out what it's maybe well i think it might be just a number maybe three aaron's at five and then robin's at six looking for seven <laughs> daniel loves vegetables so that makes me happy <laughs> We got Robin at six dollars, looking for seven. What you thinking, Aaron? I think I'll let her arms do move. Her legs do not. Aaron is yeah. out. We're gonna go once to Robin for six. I can't think of a single vegetable that I do not like. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Robin. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Robin. That was for six. Okay. Next, I have a lot of stamps, but these are different stamps. They're C3 stamps. And these all sell anywhere from four to 10, 11 bucks or so. So um, I'm going to start these out at $8. So this one is a geometric border. So this is what they look like. They're a clear stamp and then they got the stamp on the other side. So this one is geometric border. This one is a Japanese knot. This one is the curly key. So like this one was 850. And then you've got the small curly key. This one is a Japanese fan. That one was $11. You got the frond. Checker border. Ginkgo leaves. This one was 
And last one here, this one is, is it Serengeti Sun? Is that how you pronounce it? You got Picky Nicky in at eight, looking for nine. That one's pretty. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And these are probably well over the $30 price range. Brand new. You got Picky Nicky in at eight, looking for $9 on this. You got nine stamps in this slot. Any other interest in this? We're going to go once to Picky Nicky for eight. You're going twice. And these are like a hard. Um, like a plexiglass. Christina's at nine, looking for ten. Picky Nikki's at fifteen, looking for sixteen. You think from Christina, do you want to come on in for 16 or are you out? All right, I'm going to call it slowly. We're going to go once to Picky Nikki for $15, looking for 16 out to Nikki. I just wanted the Japanese one. <laughs> going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Picky Nikki. All right. Thank you, Picky Nikki. All right. And then I have seven picks. These are going to be the eight by ten, so they're the smaller ones. Here's the first one. Hold up. What's your start again? Um, we'll do five dollar start. I think that's why I started the first lot with. So here's the first one. You're going to get seven in these. Here's the second one. Third one. So this is the um, train station here in Little Rock from the other side. So the front of the building. This one I thought was super neat. Missouri Pacific Line. Number six, this one always makes me think of that, oh, that show with the trains. I can't think of what the name of it is. It's a kid's show. Uh, Thomas? Not Thomas. It was, oh, I, can't, I can't even, they were like a red, green, and blue one. Oh, this is six. There's that one. And then the last one. Christina's at five, looking for six dollars on this. Yep, I got. Uh, I didn't show any earlier, really, but I do have some more coming up, Dean. Yeah, okay, Christina at five dollars, looking for six dollars on this. Turtle, tur hello, Turtle Traders at six, looking for seven. Something station. That's right. Christina's at seven, looking for eight. And you get seven in there, is that what it is? Yep, seven. I thought there was one in a holder. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm trying to think. No. Rich is out. Turtle Traders at eight, looking for nine. Electric something. It's 
Is that maybe the first one that you showed, or? Trying to look. So I only showed one earlier, and I think it was John that got that one. I'm going to do a, a, a buy it now video on the rest of them tomorrow, though. Daniel's going to be at mom's house, so I'll pull them all out, or at least most of them out, and I'll do a nice video on it. So keep tuned for that one. Now that I get them all here and out of the closet. Turtle Trader's at 8. Christina's out. Um, I think that's it. So we're going to go once a Turtle Trader for $8. I'm for 9 going twice last call fair warning sold the turtle trader <clears throat> all right thank you thank you and that was my three conjunction junction what's your function i used to love that when i was younger mm -hmm. <laughs> okay this one here despicable me three spy grew number 421 the box is in really good condition. Let's do a um, $8 start on this one. Spy Grew. 421. Funko. Oh, I guess there's a little ding right there, actually. I just noticed that one. Who else could give me this Sting Luger? <laughs> Right, so Despicable Me 3. If there's no interest in this guy here, that's totally fine. I'll put him to the side. And let's see. John's in at 8, looking for 9. What are you doing with him? I just had him. Are you serious? Oh, right there. <laughs> Oh, I got eight dollars looking for nine dollars on Spy Grew Pop Movies number 421. Thank you, Tur Turtle Trader. <laughs> All right, if there's no other interest, tell it to John. All right, we're gonna go once to John for eight. Going twice, last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, thank you. Spy grew. Okay. This one's going to be a $10 start. Fallout 4, Soul Survivor, number 75. That's the guy in there. Box is not perfect, but it's not terrible either. I'll give you a 360 of it here. I see a little... Like someone had a sticker on it or something, or maybe not. I don't know what that is. It's not indented or anything. But there's a, maybe it's part of the box, actually. Who knows? <laughs> Soul Survivor. Fallout 4, number 75. John's at 10, looking for 11. I don't even see that yet on my screen. Really? Yep. Any other interest in this pop? Go ahead, call it to John for 10. All right. We are going once to John for 10. Going once. Going twice, looking for that $11 bid. Last and final call, and we are sold. Thank you, thank you. And then we'll do an eight dollar start. Oops, on this one, he farted and ran down his leg. <laughs> uh, Ralph breaks the internet number nine, and it says. Click here around it. That's what it says. Uh, yes, it's who it is. I never watch Ralph Breaks the Internet. The box is not perfect. It's got some scuffing. But yes is the person or the pop in it there. She's got looks like she's wearing like a fur coat. There it is.
Ralph breaks the internet. That's who that is. There. Any interest in this plot for eight bucks? Yes. John's at eight, looking for nine. All right, call it to John for eight bucks. All right. Oh, here we go. Go once. Going twice. Breaking for that nine dollar bid. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. That was my three heading back to you. All righty. Gross. <laughs> I'm going to do some different things this uh, round. If y'all want more train pictures, I'll be happy to show them some more to you. I just don't want to bore y'all with them. So, um, let's see. So, this you're getting five of these. I'm going to start this off at $2. They are all brand new. They're chunky stamps. So, you got a pumpkin. Uh, this one is a checkerboard. This one is a ghost. You got the white oak leaf. And the last one here is a Christmas tree, a three tier tree. You got Picky Nicky in at two, looking for six. Uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just kidding. We're looking for three. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Any other interest in this uh, lot of stamps? God, I'll be all right. We'll be fine. <laughs> You're so pretty. I know. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to go once to Picky Nikki for $2, looking for three, not six. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Patrick. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Picky Nicky. All right. Thank you, Picky Nicky. Two dollars. <laughs> lot of chunky. I'm going to go what? Okay. Right. This one, this will be a lot as well. I'm going to start this off at uh, five dollars. These are decorating chalks. So here's the first one. If they've been used, they've only been slightly used. There is a lot of left, lot, uh, a lot left of these. <laughs> I think this one's called the Four Seasons. You got this one. Yep, this one is summer. This one is winter. And then this one is autumn. And the last one here is spring. So you're getting one, two, three, four, five of these. Decorating chalks. Looking for that $5 start. For a... Pastel touch. Hmm? That's what your thing said. I think. I don't know. It's kind of blurry, but. Oh, yes, for pastel touch. I see it now. <laughs> How do you um, use them? Most of these, I think, have like the eyeshadow applicators, what makes me think of these. So that's what you would use them. Um, a lot of, I used to be real big in scrapbooking. And so I would take these and do some shadowing like on a picture or a writing page or, you know, there's several things you can use these for. That's right. It looks like eyeshadow. Save some money. Mm -hmm. There you go. 
Juan is at five. We're looking for six dollars on this. If they hurt your eyes, I don't want to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure you could probably take these and use some like stencils and you know stencil things in on wood or paper or whatever. You get all five of these. Any other interest in the decorative chalk? We got Rich in at six looking for seven for stamping. Are they for stamping? No, these are for uh, their chalk. So you take like the applicator, like an eyeshadow applicator, and you can use it to either um, get some stencils to fill the, the, the decorations, or you could um, just freehand it, which is what I did with a lot of my scrapbooking pages. Julie's at seven. Rich is out. We're looking for eight. Laura's at eight. We're looking for nine. Yeah, it says add new and distinctive looks to all your artwork creations with our exclusive seasonal soft chalks. Each, uh, each set is designed to coordinate beautifully with its assigned exclusive inks. Color season, blending, and shading with soft chalks offers endless possibilities. So there you go. <laughs> Vintage Memories. Vintage Memories is in at nine, looking for ten. Hey, hey. And they are acid-free and non-toxic. So if you are a scrapbooker, that is very important. Um, that way your pages are not ruined. You got Laura coming in first at 10, looking for 11. Julie's at 12. Looking for 13 on this. Vintage Memories is out. One is out. So, Laura, what you thinking? You want to come on in for 13? Yes, she did. Oh, she did. Looking for 14. Julie's at 14. Laura's back at 15. Looking for 16. Julie is out. We're going to go once to Laura for 15. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Laura. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Laura. And FYI, Julie, let me know if you're getting my email. I want to make sure I have the right email for you. So, and that, or no, that was two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Then I have this little vintage doll. She is super cute. We're going to start her off at five. She's got the little shirt. The little shawl and then the skirt and then her little shoes little sandals is she plastic or ceramic this one is plastic yeah definitely plastic she is not getting your emails okay i will verify with tiffany when we get done what she has uh, let's see Oh, was it marked anywhere? Uh, let's see. I don't think it was. No, I think these are like handmade. This one was handmade, possibly. Because it's got the little nail in the shoe. Yeah, I don't see any markings on it whatsoever. All right, guys, any interest in $5 on this? Let me just pull up my Facebook and send it over to Scooter now because I always forget. All right, guys, if there's no interest, we'll go ahead and pass it. All right, not a problem. And that was my three. All right, and I just sent it to you, Scooter. All right, thank you. Let me find my stream yard again. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> All right, hello, hello. I got two of these available. 
They're going to be a $25 buy it now. And what it is, it is a size full, oh God, full <laughs> queen uh, quilt. Full queen, it is, uh, I can't read it on the screen, 88 inches by 92 inches, $25 buy it now. I got two of these available. And it is like a blue green color. It's really pretty. And it is wrapped up. I think the whole thing is the solid color here. $25 buy it now for a full size, queen size bed, 88 inches by 92 inches. And the brand on it is Hearth and Hand. Yeah, let me see. Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. Standard 100. There we go. Any interest in these ones? And if not, I'll put it to the side. That's totally fine. Um, if anybody wants to give me 20, I'll do 20 each. I can do that. Okay. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I got lots of stuff around me. Ugh. Oh. Let's do this. Um, and John, I'll give it to you for 20 since I said that already. And John, did you want one or two? John Lynch, uh, full queen quilt. $20. I do believe it's all one solid color, it's like a blue green color. And this is just the um, the thing that's holding it together is all that is. But I think it's just all this. And John wants both. You got it. Thank you, John. 40 out of here. All right. Um, kinda, I put baggies around it so it wouldn't break. Hold <laughs> uh, the phone. We're going to do a... $8 buy it now for choice. Ugh. All right. This is a precious moment. The Lord is counting on you. 1993. And she's holding like the cross stitching thing. And it says the Lord is counting on you. She's holding a little needle here. And there's also a little like a little basket with string with a needle sticking out. 1993 precious moments. There's number one. This one is Jonathan and David. We are God's worship. 19, 1982, Jonathan and David. There we go. So there's that one. You also have a precious moments. Have you any room for Jesus? 1996. Have you any room for Jesus? 1996 on this. And she has... Uh, a little list. Monday, she's going to do her shopping. Tuesday, bowling, and so forth, so forth. I don't know if it's going to show up on the screen. There it is. Super cool. Then we have a precious moments, 1993, a special, a special chime for Jesus. A little duck. It's a little ducky. It's cute as heck. And then you also have a precious moments, 1998. You make such a lovely pair. There we go. So, Rev, which one or ones would you like? We'll call this one number one. The Lord is counting on you. Number two, which was the Jonathan and David. Got like a little butterfly. Number three, she's holding the, the shopping list and the, the weekly list of what she's going to do. Number four, a special chime for Jesus with the ducky. Number five, um, you make such a lovely pair, and she's got a pair in her hands. Oh, let me know which one you would like. Let me move this. Stay. All right. Let me put this down. So number one. Number two. Number three. Number four or number five. Put 
Rev. And they're all in great condition. One and four. One, four. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. I think I'm right. I got you, Rev. Anybody else interested in the remaining three for $8 a piece? You can just let me know in the chat. I'll put them to the side. Um, all right. And was that two or three? That was two. Yeah, um, huh? I thought it was two. I think you're right. All right. I got you, Rev. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, since I still got some left, here we go. We'll do this. We'll keep on continuing with this. We're going to do a $4 buy it now for choice. 1987. Samuel, Samuel J. Butcher. And it's like a little ornament. It is a ceramic like the precious moments are. There we go. That is a uh, precious moments though, right? It says Samuel J. Butcher. Yeah, I think he makes precious moments. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. So there's number one. Number two, 1997, it says PMI at the bottom. It doesn't, it's not marked precious moments or anything like that. So there's that one, number two. Number three, 1999, PMI, precious moments. So yeah, that's precious moments. You got the little girl with the gift box and the bear. Christina's at four. All right. And then, no, not that one. Come on, Tiffany, get with it. Uh, you got 1983, Jonathan and David. 1993. She's sitting in her chair doing some cross stitching. This one is 1987, and uh, taking a bubble bath there. Super cute, and he's got the holy Bible. And then last one. No, wait, that's one, two, three, four, five. So I'll do five so I don't confuse myself or anybody. So Christina, which one or ones would you like? Number one. Get the, the goose biting her little bow tie there that she's got. Number two, holding the heart, like the heart wreath. Number three, she's got a teddy bear in her hand and a gift in the other. Number four, sitting down and doing some cross stitching in the chair. Or number five, the, uh, the bubble bath. It's got a really pretty flower design, too, that's raised on the bathtub. There we go. One, two, three, four, and five. One, three, and five. All right. I got you, Christina. If anybody's interested in these two, I got those available. You just let me know. Okay. Thank you, guys. And I'm going to go on over to Scooter. Are you ready, girl? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Harley keeps texting me. There like, we go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. $3 start on this. This is another one of those narrow gauge Roro Silverton, Colorado. I don't see a date on it, but it's one of those beer mugs. Super pretty. Black and gold coming out of the mountains, going across the bridge there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Any interest in this for three dollars? Oops. And what's it say on this scooter? I can't quite see. It's got a train. Narrow Gauge Roro, Silverton, Colorado. Any interest in this for $3? All right, guys, if there's no interest, we'll go ahead and pass it. All right, and then I got one more for you. This one is Union Pacific. Uh, country Trains is the only thing on the bottom. 
Oh, Rich came in for three. Okay. You got it, Rich. Thank you. Okay. This one's uh, Union Pacific. It's done by Frank Evans from 89. So, again, it's another train. This one's a coffee mug. It's got the gold trim up here at the top. You got Union Pacific right there. It's got country trains and then Frank Evans from 89. And then what underneath it's Mark Country Trains. What was your start? Uh, three. I'm sorry. No, you probably said it. I probably did. <laughs> Looking for a three dollar start on this Union Pacific Frank Evans 1989 Country Trains. Scoop, scoop. <laughs> it was a railroad lot of stuff that I've been on, or my local estate um, sale place here. They do auctions online that I can get on, and I guess it's stuff from. Past the state sales, it didn't sell, but this was one of them, and I bid on it. <laughs> you got Rich in at three for this, looking for four? Yeah, there are some things I will go big or go home like Tiffany, so. <laughs> huh. Yep, I, I tend to do that. <laughs> Any other interest in this? We're going to go once to Rich for $3, looking for four. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Rich. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> and then my third item here these are Color Box Pedal Point uh, Pigment Option Pad. They're enchant this one is enchantment asset free. And so you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors in this one. And then this, and this is gonna be for the whole lot. I'm gonna do a five dollar start on this. This one is essential shades. So you got like white, pink, black, and off-white and the tan color. And then I'm just going to throw this one in here. This is stamping stuff. It's a rubber stamp cleaner and reconditioner. And this alone was five bucks. So it says cleans even hard to remove inks and pigments from your stamps. Stamping stuff. So you got eight on this one as well. Three. Just wanted to take three again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Looking for a $5 start on this lot. Color box. Pedal point. And are those are those like chalks? Like, they, like the last no, one? These are, these are ink pads. These are where you take your stamp. Oh, sorry. Okay. The little ink pads. Looking for a five dollar start on this. Christina's coming first for five. We're looking for six. So you're getting three items in this lot. Julie's at six. We're looking for seven. Christina's at seven. Looking for eight. Seven dollars looking for eight dollars. Julie's at eight looking for nine. Christina's coming in with the right hook for nine looking for ten.
Julie's at 10, looking for 11. Stamping stuff in color boxes. The colorful one is pretty. Mm -hmm. Christina's at $11, looking for 12. I should, huh? You know, it's funny. I, I threw all my old ones away. I should have kept them. <laughs> Julie's at 12, looking for 13. <laughs> and Christina's out to Julie. We're going to go once to Julie for 12, looking for 13. Going twice. Uh oh. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Julie. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Julie. And that was my three. Okay. Hello, hello. Are you guys down? To, are, you, are you guys? Scooter, are you down to make this the last round? Sure. You got it. <laughs> okay. We're going to do a $10 start on this. Funko Pop Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Ego, number 205. There he is. Uh, $10. Girl, you keep those 50 cent pants and throw them away. I, <laughs> I know. That was before I started reselling, though. I threw them out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. $10 to start on this. And the box is in really good condition. John's at 10, looking for 11. <laughs> hey, die, uh, die cast. <laughs> hey, hey. Always the last call when I come to town. <laughs> Any other interest in Guardians of the Galaxy? <coughs> Sell it to John for 10 bucks. All right, we're going once to John for 10, looking for 11. <laughs> going twice. Rich says you're forgiven. Okay, cool. <laughs> Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. And uh, let's see. We'll do an $8 start. X Men number 317. Uh, Nika Sonic Teenage Warhead. Whoever that is. I have no idea. But there you go. $8 to start on this one. And the box is in good condition. There's that. Dean's at eight, looking for nine. There we go. Nega Sonic Teenage Warhead. Any other interest in this? Here, going once a Dean for eight dollars, looking for that nine dollar bid. You got it. John's at 10, looking for 11. Oh, from a Deadpool tool, really? I've never seen Deadpool. I'm sure I'll see all these movies here soon once my son gets into them. <laughs> and Dean is out. So... We're going to go twice. John for 10. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to John. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And then my last one for today. Let's do. I'm going to do another one of these. Hey, Susan. Hey. 
$7 start, kind of like the one I showed you earlier, Marvel, Ant-Man, and Lost, but it's only at Target, and it's number 347 instead of 344. So I'm sure there's a bit of a difference. The box is not perfect on this. The Janet Van Dyke Unmasked. It's got some imperfections on it. Late as usual. <laughs> there we go. Seven dollars to start on this guy. Or girl, I should say. On Janet. Bring it up closer to you. This one's only at Target number 347. Any interest in Janet? Ant-Man and Wasp. Ant-Man and the Wasp. John's at seven, looking for eight. And if there's no other interest, we're going to go once to John for seven dollars, looking for eight. <laughs> Me neither. I just know when I get an opportunity, I snatch them up. <laughs> Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Full to John. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And are you all set to do your last round? I am. All right. Here you go. All right. Uh, let's see. First up. Okay, first up, I have a lot of stamps. I'm going to start these off at $8. You're getting seven of them. So you got the stocking. And again, never used. You can see if it had a copyright or a year on it. This one is an egg. It's from 1999. And these are, um, that will go into the bigger ones here. Here is some grapes. This one is $10 by itself. You got the dress mannequin. This one was $13 by itself. Sheesh. This one says, thank you. And it's from 2003. And this one is the Peace Around the World. You got Picky Nikki at eight. Good night, Rich. Thanks for hanging. Hi, Rich. Thank you. And then the last one, this one is, this one was eleven fifty by itself. And it is some sort of design on it. Second chance with that nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Picky Nikki's at 12. Christina's at 14. We're looking for 15. Second chance is at 15. And again, all of these look like they have never been used or they've been very well cleaned up. So. Picky Nikki's at 17, looking for 18. That one was 11.75 by itself. Second chance at 18, looking for 19. Picky Nikki's at 20. I'm just going to like playing Jenga. <laughs> Second chance at 21, looking for 22. Picky Nikki's at 22 now. Looking for 23. Second chance is out. We're going to go once to Picky Nikki for 22. We are going twice. And last call. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. Christina has been. In, I got confused. I'm sorry. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> and you're sold to Picky Nikki for 22. All right. Thank you, Picky Nikki. Right, you and Julie emailed you. Got it. Thank you. Because I've been using the one for your PayPal, and I guess it's not going through. So, all right. This is a lot of two. I'm going to start this off at 10. Uh, one, you're getting a cube. This is what the stamp will end up looking like if you do it by the instructions. Um, so, basically, you're taking A, B, and C, and you're layer layering them to match that picture if you want to, or you can just make your own total different design. So it ends up somehow looking all like that. So that's one. And then number two, this one is $20 by itself. Mm -hmm. And this one is waves. So again, it's just that clear block, like a plexiglass style. I'm trying to take it out of the bag. And then it's got the rubber stamp on it. Well, I can't get it out of the bag, but that's what it's going to look like. <laughs> hey, Lindsay Ann. And again, it's just that clear plexiglass with the rubber stamp. So that one is ways, and then you're getting the cube. That's a big old stamp, too, the other one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's huge. I did, but I'm going to be doing a buy it now uh, video on them tomorrow. So make sure uh, you hit the bell for all notifications. I'll put it up on YouTube. Picky Nikki's at 10, looking for 11. There's no telling how much this one was, but it does give you the instructions on how to do those. So. But it ends up looking like that if you end up wanting to do that. Any other interest in this? Picky Nikki's at 10. We're looking for $11. We are going once to Picky Nikki for 10. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. And sold to Picky Nikki. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Picky Nikki. And then for my final uh, thing for today, again, a lot of seven of these train picks. And we'll do a $5 start. So you can see the train is right over there. This one looks like a derailment. I don't, I don't know. That's just what I'm assuming. Second chance is up by. Whoops, wrong way. Mike's at seven. Second chance at eight, looking for nine. And Mike, would you like to come on in for nine dollars on this? Got second chance at eight dollars, looking for nine. All right, Mike, I'm going to call it slow. Julie's at ten, looking for eleven. I love this one with the railroad bridge. That's one of my favorites of this one. Mike is out. Second chance is out. So we're going to go once to Julie for 10. Looking for $11. Going twice. Last call. Christina's at 11. Looking for 12. night. Definitely.
Was it silly on my favorite one? <laughs> All right, Julie, what you thinking, girl? You want to come on in for twelve dollars on this? She does. Julie's at twelve. We're looking for thirteen. Good night, Robin. Thank you. Good night, Robin. And Christina, do you want to come on in for 13? She does. Christina's at 13, looking for 14. Julie's at 15. A lot of five. A lot of seven. Seven. A lot of seven. <laughs> it started at five. <laughs> Christina's at 16, looking for 17. Julie's at 18. Looking for 19 or 20. Nice ephemera pic pictures of trains. Mm -hmm. Christina, and I still have a lot more, believe it or not. <laughs> do you really? Yes. <laughs> Christina's at 19. We're looking for 20. Julie is out. We're going to go once to Christina for 19. Slug fest. <laughs> Going twice. Uh, Dean, I'm, I was actually going to make a pre-recorded video of it. Um, I don't know when I'll have it up, though. Probably I'll have it up by 3 Eastern. Last call. Fair warning. Told to Christina. All right. Know. Thank you, Christina. And that was my last one. All right, I'll bring you up. I'll bring myself up. Let's see. I don't know if I have any wrestling pops. I might. I know I got Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, no, I believe that was Sand, Rev. <laughs> <laughs> sand or Snow, one or the other. I got Pokemon. I think I got some more Marvel. I don't know what I have. I got I got quite a bit that I haven't even really looked at. <laughs> Um, I got a big box out in my living room. I'm going to unbox, unbox it tonight and uh, get it situated on my table. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Really appreciate you guys being here. Um, I'm going to do all my invoicing sometime this evening. And I know a few of you really needed your stuff before the weekend. So those two will definitely go out tomorrow morning. The rest of them, I'm going to wait till my boxes come in tomorrow. And then I'll get to packing throughout the week and uh, get them all out shipped to you guys. Um, yeah, but it looks like it was just your repair area. <laughs> <laughs> and the same thing for my invoices. I'll be working on the rest of y'all this evening as well. So, All right, guys. You have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and we'll see Thank you later. You. Thank you.